So I always screw up on these videos and I'll get a car or I'll get a project and I don't end up recording it. And then, you know, by the time I want to record, I've already done like 3,000 things and it's not the same car. And I figured this time I'm going to start as soon as I can. So I've had this car for about, today's my third day. Picked it up the first day. I got it like at 12 o'clock at night. So it doesn't even, don't even count the first day. This is yesterday. I just drove it. I didn't do anything. And today is when... Actually, that's not true. I did something yesterday, but I'll tell you guys in a second. So, this is my new to me, new to the channel, 2007 335i. Um, it has a tan interior, no sports seats, black into exterior. Um, it has Logic 7, uh, nav, of course, the old style. Um, what else does it have that I could point out? You know, the silver trim, uh, comfort access. It's actually my first time comfort access, it's actually pretty cool. Um, it has lowered on some coilovers, I don't know what brand. The guy said they were kind of cheap. And uh, has stock exhaust, stock everything but intakes. The intakes are off the market. Um, and besides that, the car is pretty, it's, it's nice, it's not the worst, I mean. This has like some weird paint going on here. I probably didn't need to repaint that. It's probably been switched out. Cause it looks like only half was painted. Um, it has these original, the, I forgot what style they are, but the OEM ones. But these look like they've been like refinished. I don't know if you can tell, but they have no curb. Like here you can tell it's, oh see, yeah right here. You can tell they've been painted before. But they actually look pretty good, like not gonna lie. Sorry for the wind. But yeah, so. Some things, like, I'll give you guys a run around of the quick little things I'm gonna do. We got the adaptive headlight code. Um, I don't know what's wrong. They might need to get coded. Or the module at the bottom of the headlight might be out. I'll look into that. Um, I have no ABS, no brake tire pressure sensors. We need to get those. Uh, check engine, of course, you know. It's like the pre-cat O2 sensor in bank one, I think it is. So I'm gonna try to switch that out soon. Um, as far as mods are going to go, um, I'm definitely going to clean up the exterior, clean up the paint, probably get those bumpers repainted. Interior-wise, the guy had sports seats for this car. He said I could have them, he gave them to me, so I have a set of sports seats this color. Which, this interior, it's not that bad condition. I don't like the color. I might try to do like a two-tone black with this color so I don't have to spend on the whole interior swap. Because I did it on my last car. And, uh... If I do that, it'll come out sick. But for the most part, I think I have a honeycomb trim I'm gonna put on here. I don't have the centerpiece because it's, the, it's the, the little tray piece, the centerpiece is that, it doesn't have the navigation. Um, I'm gonna do little things like probably do the LCI headlight switch. Um, probably do the LCI push start with the red button. I might upgrade the steering wheel. Not sure, I might try to do paddle shifters. It is an automatic. Uh, I was kind of bummed because I look, I'm in Dallas now. Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth area. So I was looking for a manual everywhere I could, but I couldn't find one anywhere. So, or I did find a couple, but they were asking like eight, nine. And I thought, nah, for a quick little project car, you know, I just want turbos and automatic will do, you know? So this is what we got. Plus I had the manual last time. And for some reason, this automatic feels like it rips way hard. And I don't know if it's just me or <laughs> I was shifting wrong, but yeah, that's about it. Um, it has this rear sunshade, which is actually kind of cool it went up so yeah logic 7 nav um comfort access it has some pretty good features i'm not gonna complain the outside's kind of clean uh, i'm definitely gonna do some things to it like i said picking up stray dogs um i like this look for now the lowered on stocks um i'll probably if i find some good wheels i'll pick them up if not i'm gonna leave them but uh let me just show you guys real quick before i end this video the engine bay because it's actually in decent condition so stock m54 and i apologize if you can't hear me i don't know why i'm doing this but there's the aftermarket intakes via vrsf 
um, they were filthy yesterday. They were literally black. I thought he got like a black scent, but I took them off, cleaned them, sprayed them with the oil again, and now they're good to go. And no leaks, you know, which is why I kind of bought this car. Um, he didn't have a lot of maintenance history, which is fine, because I figured I'd do all the little things, because it's always pretty fun. So, you know, like I did the, uh, I did the upper radiator hose yesterday, because I touched this, and as you guys know, it snapped. So I took that apart, did that, cleaned the intakes, the throttle body um, I'm gonna do plugs and ignition coils next probably do a coolant flush um, probably gonna take the intake off just to see how the um, just to see how the ports look you know see if I need to get water blasted which I guarantee you I do but for the most part it pulls hard no smoke no wastegate rattle no issues really um, I'm gonna do the you know the belt tension in the belt so I don't snap that and ruin the whole car and uh, yeah that's basically it it's not that bad I like it um, the reason I got this too is because I don't know if you guys know but I don't know when I'll be posting this video whether I'll be posting it earlier or late but I sold the 328 the black one I got for a grand I sold the white $300 BMW E90 and I sold the six-speed 330 I bought here so I sold them all, I put some cash in my pocket, and now I'm looking for other flip projects, because I, I made some pretty good money on that. And let me know if you guys, I don't think anybody's even watching these, but I don't know if I'm gonna do the video on how much money I made off of those things, but it wasn't too bad. And the amount of effort I had to put into them was actually not bad at all either. So those are gone, this is the new one. I'm still looking for more. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm horrible at posting these videos. Um, I love doing it, I love these cars, I love working on these cars, you know, I can, I feel like mechanically inclined to be able to do whatever I need to do, like, you know, not a head gasket because I can't do timing, but transmission, oil filter housing, you know, turbos, I could do it all. I could drop this engine, but for the most part, this is it. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to start posting stuff. I'm going to let you guys know how to do things. Well, I'll probably post some DIYs for like little things. I mean, I'm not going to do like poses because there's 200 videos out there. I'm not going to do you know your basic mods because there's 200 videos out there but if there's an issue that i feel like i can't find very much information on about these cars i'm definitely going to figure it out post to how i did it and then really help some of you guys so thanks for watching stay tuned for this car like i said and uh i'm excited thanks for watching